welcome to today's topic live lesson. Um, so we were going to be looking at and thinking about whether things float or whether they sink. Okay, so um, hopefully what you've been able to do is go out and gather up um, a range of different objects. Um, if not, if you go out and have a little look at collecting a range of you know different objects, um, maybe out in the garden, maybe some things around the house, stuff like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to be actually testing out whether they float or sink. So um, we have got three different levels that we're going to be looking at this on. Um, so the first one here, this is just a little example for you. So what you would do is you would take your object. Um, so for example, you might choose to have a pencil. Um, you could have your pencil. So what you do is you can either write down pencil or you could draw um, on here the fact that you've got a pencil. Um, it's not the best drawing in the world because I am using a mouse. Okay, but you can pretend that's a pencil. Um, put it into the water and then whether you think this floats or sinks. If it floats, then what you would do is you would give that a nice tick for me on that one there. However, if it sank, then you would put a, tink, a, a tick in the sink box. So... Um, moving on a little bit further, um, we've got a new word for some of you here, which is hypothesis. Basically, a hypothesis is a really good guess. OK, so you would look at this and you would look at your object, maybe sort of like, you know, feel how heavy it is. Have a look at how big it is, um, you know, what it's made out of. And using that, using all the information that you already know, you will then come up with your hypothesis. You will come up um, and think about, okay, does this float or does it sink? Okay, um, and then you would move on um, from there to actually testing it um, and seeing whether that does indeed float or sink. And then um, pushing our sort of last group on a little bit more, what you're gonna be doing after you've gone through um, and you've done this, you've had a look at that, you've done your hypothesis, stuff like that, why do you think that the object floated or you know sank? Uh, what is it about it? Try and think about the properties of the material. Yet again, like you know, I just said about that. You know, what is it made out of? Um, is it very heavy for its size? Uh, is it very light for its size? Um, you know, what are the um, different properties of the object, and what are the different you know things that you think? would mean that it either floated or sank, um, you know, so that would be really good if you could do that for me. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this activity and I will see you later on.